there are a number of different ways to solve quadratic equations. Um, there's factoring both sides, there's uh, taking the square root of both sides, there's factoring one side and using the zero product rule, there's a number of them. But sort of the go-to method, the one that always works, whether you can factor the information or not, whether there's any real solutions or not, is the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is sort of the, the end, the, the, the method that you go to when nothing else works. It's not always the most convenient, um, but it's nice to know that there's something you can use that will always uh, get you the answers you're looking for. So when you're looking for the x-intercepts of a quadratic equation, um, like a here, which is 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 equals 0, we can plug it into the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and solve that formula for what's commonly two answers, maybe one, maybe zero, but commonly two answers, and know what the two x-intercepts would be, what two numbers x can be that will make this equation true, will make this side equal to zero. To find these values, a, b, and c, we just need to look at our, uh, our equation. Once it's in standard form, which this one is, standard form looks like ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Once it's in standard form, a is the coefficient of the x squared term, b is the coefficient of the x term, and c is the constant term. So if we look at our example, our a is 2, our b is 3, and our c is 1. So if we take those three values and put them into the quadratic formula, we get something that looks like this. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now we just simplify the numbers. We'll have negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared, which is 9, minus 4 times 2 is 8, times 1 is still 8, all over 2 times 2, which is 4. So now we have negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 1 over 4, which gives us two possibilities. We have negative 3 plus the square root of 1, which is, of course, just 1. So we have negative 3 plus 1 over 4, or we have negative 3 minus the square root of 1, since obviously there's two roots of 1, negative 3 minus 1 over 4. So if we have negative 3 plus 1 over 4, that gives us negative 2 over 4, which is negative 1 half. And then if we have negative 3 minus 1 over 4, we get negative 4 over 4, which is negative 1. So our two solutions, our two x-intercepts, are negative 1 half and negative 1. And we can write that as, change colors real quick, we can write that as x equals the set including negative 1 half and negative 1. And that's all there is to it.